Hello. Hello children and welcome to story time today. These are the characters in my story. I've got a little kangaroo. I've got an elephant. I have a chicken and a snake who's hiding away at the back. But my main character in my story today is this frog. Because today is the story of the noisy, green, wide-mouthed tree frog. <laughs> Would you like to hear the story? Good. Well, clip those listening ears on. Find somewhere really comfortable. Get snuggly. Because our story is about. Once upon a time, a little frog sat in his pond. He was a green frog. He was a tree frog. He was a green, wide-mouthed tree frog. Every day he would sit in his pond, waiting for people to pass by. And then he'd shout at them. He didn't really mean to, but somehow... He was very noisy and people didn't like to stay long by him. The first animal to pass by was a little elephant. He was marching through the jungle. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Ah, he came to sit by the pond. sat in the pond. Ah, nobody ever stays with me, he said. Ah, I wonder why. Well, the next day, another little animal passed by. It was a kangaroo and he hopped through the forest and past the pond. Boing, 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 boing. He came to rest to just check his little Joey was still in the pouch. When very noisily, our frog shouted, Cooey! Hello, I can see you! Oh, said the kangaroo. Oh, you, oh, you all scared me there, mm, said the frog. Mm, uh, uh, who are you? I'm a kangaroo. Oh, well, I'm a green white bell tree frog, shouted the frog. What do you like to eat? Um, I tend to eat leaves, said the kangaroo. Oh, well, I eat flies. Fly, fly, flies, said the noisy frog. In fact, he was so noisy that the poor kangaroo started to shake a little. Oh, would you like to stay and have lunch with me, said the frog. Oh, I'm a little bit busy, said the kangaroo. It's a little bit noisy for me. <clears throat> he hopped backwards away from the frog and away from the noise. <sighs> oh, said the frog, nobody wants to have lunch with me. <clears throat> he sat on his pond thinking about flies. Well, 
Later on, another little animal passed by the pond. That was a chicken. He sat down by the pond, thinking about having a little nap, was just about to close one eye when the frog shouted. wobbled and, and, and worriedly looked towards the frog. Oh, um, who are you? said the frog. Oh, chicken, said the chicken. Oh, well, I'm a green, wide mouth tree frog, said the frog. What do you like to eat? Corn, 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 I like to eat corn, said the chicken. He was quite scared of the big noisy frog. Oh, well, I like to eat flies, said the frog. Flies, 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 I love them. Would you like to stay for lunch? Um, no, uh, said the chicken. Uh, uh, no, I'm, I've got to go. And he hurried away from the pond as quickly as his little feathers could take him. Oh, said the frog. <sighs> Nobody ever wants to stay for lunch with me. He sat quite lonely on his pond, thinking about flies. Well, there was a noise he could hear from behind him. It was a snake slithering through the undergrowth, heading towards the pond. said the frog. Hello! Who are you? I'm a snake. Oh! And what would you like to eat, snake? Oh, said the snake. I like to eat green, wide-mouthed tree frog. wide-mouthed tree frog. The green tree frog <gasps> closed his wide mouth and tried to make it as small as possible. Oh, that's interesting, <laughs> said the frog. There's not many of those around, are there? He said and hopped off and away. snake laughed. <laughs> I hope that might teach our wide mouth frog a lesson, not to be too noisy around these parts. He slithered away from the pond. Our little frog slowly crept back up, his eyes looking around. He was very quiet as he tiptoed himself back into the pond. I think, said the frog, I'm just going to sit here quietly from now on and catch flies. And he did. From that day on, the wide mouth frog really was rather quiet. And do you know something? Because he was quieter, people wanted to sit by him. The kangaroo. And the elephant. And indeed the chicken, who once had been so scared of the noisy frog, found themselves happily sitting by the pond many, many, many times, listening to the sound of the water and the buzzing of the flies. And together, they would happily 
contentedly sit and enjoy their lunch together. The chicken with his corn, the elephant with her fruit and nuts, the kangaroo with his leaves, and the green frog with his flies. The end. I hope you enjoyed my story today and I really hope that you might spend a little time this afternoon telling the story to somebody else in your family. Maybe you could find some of your teddies in your room and they could be the animals in the story. Or maybe you could act it out with your mummy or your brothers and sisters if you have them. You could be the frog or perhaps the snake at the end of the story. Do tell me if you managed to act out this story, won't you? And if you want to video it and send it to me, I'd love to see how you tell the story. Right now though, I've got to head off and have my lunch. I wonder what I'll have for my lunch today. I think I'm going to have a nice green Salad. Goodbye everyone and I'll see you again tomorrow.